Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solution Turn of our channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to calculate centroids from polygons, right? Good. So they are simply the center of those polygons, right? Good. So um, maybe if you have quite a good number of polygons and then you want to represent each polygon as a point or maybe you are carrying out an analysis and then you want to move from the center of each polygon to the center of the next which possibly can be for um, proximity analysis trying to know distance between what those two polygons right good so it would be better to move from one center to the other or maybe if you also want to maybe place your labels and then you want it to be at center so there are some these are some of the right good so these are some of the practical reasons why you might need to um, convert your polygons or represent your polygons as points or show the centroids of your polygons so we are using the administrative boundary of nigeria that shows what the different states so we are now going to come to vector and then under vector we come to geometry tools and then we can find what the centroids there right now what does it do this algorithm creates a new point layer with points representing the centroid of the geometries in and what imputes layer right good so it creates a new point layer then the points represent the centroid of the geometries so in this case our geometries are what the polygons right good in our imputes layer right good so we just have one and then uh, this will be what the centroid layer so let's see if we can just um, save to file good so we are working on a folder called um, centroid in um, QGIS so let's call this um, okay so let's call this ng underscore centroid right good so you can see you have different options to actually save what the vector data that's the point that you are trying to what you are trying to generate right good so let's use the default um, shp and then we can run okay so we have an output and basically you can see the output here as what as point so if you put this out you can have what the points that represent each of those um, polygons right good so from here you can decide to say okay that should be where your labels should be placed or as we told you earlier the points can easily represent the polygons or you can now start to decide and um, determine the distances from each of the centers to the other right good so that can help you maybe know the proximity how what each of them are close to the other right good so now it's a bit easier because it's easier to what to join the lines right good and then each of the lines are not just lines they are actually polygons that we are turned to lines so you can now get their distances and perhaps maybe bearings or whatever the case is so thanks for coming to class we have shown you on um, today's tutorial using QGIS how to calculate what the centroids from what from polygons right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial and sure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye